Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Steve Fallon. Welcome to my video channel. Uh, what I would like to share with you today is a technique that I use for restoring class 5 defects. And I'm not really going to get into the discussion about whether these are abrasion lesions, erosion lesions, or fractions. A lot of the time they're a combination of different variables that cause these defects. And sometimes you'll in fact want to do a connective tissue graft as opposed to restoring them. But I'm assuming that the ones we're going to talk about today are the ones that have a fairly decent notch into the root surface or even the uh, gingival third of the enamel surface. And we want to restore these defects for our patients. So the big concern that people have when they're restoring these defects is they really don't have a lot of retention form. And we don't want to spend a lot of tooth structure and prepare a lot of tooth structure to create retention form if we don't need to. So we want to rely upon our bond system, our bonding system. And people get concerned that these lesions will pop out, these restorations will pop out. And I'm going to show you my system. I'm going to show you a quick video that I filmed with my ProErgo Zeiss microscope here. And it'll show you in detail how it is that I restore these. And I'll tell you the two main things that I use. I use a filled adhesive such as single bond is the restoration. Uh, the adhesive that I use in this case, which is a quality filled adhesive, which gives me a fairly thick layer of adhesive. And I use Renamel Microfill Flowable. And I use this because this combined with the adhesive tends to give me a really good, long lasting result. This flowable microfill flows nicely into these class 5 defects. And I find I can, I can manage the defect really well. It handles well in these situations and flows nicely without flowing too quickly. And it also polishes really well and holds its polish well enough that I have a good long-term uh, result that's healthy with the tissues. So let's look at the video that I filmed with the microscope. And in this case, I'm going to be restoring three teeth with erosion, I believe is erosion or abfraction or abrasion lesions. As I said, I'm not going to get into what caused these. And we're going to start off by using some pumice to clean off the root surface and the tooth surface so we have a nice clean surface for bonding. And then I'm going to roughen the surface a little bit with a fine diamond. I'm not going to prepare these a lot because I'm going to rely on my bond my bonding technique to adhere the uh, restorations. So we're just going to do a light roughening of the surface so I have nice, clean, fresh dentin to bond to and basically have the surface ready for bonding. Now we're going to use a total etch technique. I generally always use total etch technique with these restorations. And I'm etching the surface. And I've edited this so it's a little quicker, but here's the uh, single bond, 3M single bond. We're going to follow our manufacturer's directions with the application of our bonding system. Again, that was edited so it was quicker than in natural, uh, you know, as if you watched me do it in live. So here's our flowable microfill. And we're just going to put a little bit of this on and let it kind of flow around, light cure it. And I layer this incrementally, so I'm adding a little bit more. And if you look at it, it has a really good amount of flow to this product. So it flows nicely. It's not too runny and it's not too thick. So I find it's perfect for class 5 defects. And I, I generally just move it around a little bit with a uh, periodontal probe. You can use any kind of instrument, but I've always used a periodontal probe to move it around. Then we like cure these fully. And now for finishing, I really like finishing these restorations initially with a Softlex disc. And this is the Softlex XT disc, which is the uh, extra thin mylar backed disc, and it flexes really nicely. So we move it into either forward or backward position and kind of contour this really quickly. You can see it works really nicely. We're just going to quickly contour the restorations. And then we'll follow this up with a fine carbide burr. And I'll either use a carbide burr or a, or a fine diamond. 
Personally, I prefer carbides for these kind of restorations. And then I'll use the uh, the dense flies enhanced cups. I've used these pro this product for many, many years, either the cups or the points. And the cups work really well for class 5 defects. So I use a variety of products to get a good um, shape and finish to my restorations. And then this is a unique product that I use to finish the marginal areas. What it is, is it's basically a little blade with diamonds on one side. And it's a fine diamond. You can get anywhere from coarse to fine uh, tips. And it just moves up and down or back and forth. It doesn't rotate. So because it doesn't rotate, you can't gouge the root surface. So I use this to um, refine resin restorations at the gingival margins. And I also use it to uh, remove resin cement around porcelain restorations, especially porcelain veneers. And when you're using the finer tipped version of this, it works really well. So I'm going to show you a couple of slides in a moment which show you what this looks like. And basically the tip is made by Cavo, but then the, the, uh, the, the handpiece tip part is made by Cavo, and then the tips are made by a European company and they're manufactured in the North America or sold in North America through Access Dental. So you can see how nicely this works. And it just kind of planes away the, the restorative material without damaging the root surface. And this is really good for class two restorations also interproximally, because you can gouge the root surface if you go in there with a rotating diamond or carbide. But with this, you generally cannot damage anything. And then this is just a final polishing point. These are uh, Renamel's polishing points or Cosmodent's polishing points. And that basically walks you through the system that I use. It's fairly predictable and simple. And I find that I'm getting really good long-term results with that system. Now, if you look next, this is the uh, handpiece. And what happens is you put this little blade, this little blade into the handpiece. And if you look at that dial, you can rotate to the different positions by just turning the dial. So it gives you many, many different positions that you can polish the root surface with. And then this is an example of the uh, product. And you can see the different levels of uh, coarseness. And it's not really marketed well because it doesn't have any kind of decent name. But um, it's a good product. And as I said, I, I buy them from uh, Access Dental here in North America. And here's our final view, the before version of the erosion or abrasion lesions, whatever you want to call them. And then the finished product, the finished restorations. So thank you for joining me on this clinical video. I hope you find some of the ideas, concepts, products, and techniques useful for your clinical practice. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to post a comment on my YouTube channel and I will reply as soon as I can. You can also use the email address listed on my YouTube channel to uh, email me any questions you may have as well. So thank you for joining me and we'll see you soon.